8 November 1991. I wanted you to know that I had no other option. If I wouldn't disappear from Prague in 89, we'd cut our heads off. I will come back. I will come back free. Whatever happens, just leave the keys with the guy from the shop. He's living just below your place. This is gonna... This is gonna be the last time that you're gonna hear something from me. I need to go out of the agency. And what I feel now for you is just life. And the only thing that I want for myself is just to live again. Twenty sixth July two thousand twelve. Across the Czech border with an old friend of mine from the times of the Amsterdam Unions and Rights, the Pravda crowd as we called it in the ages. She felt my silence and so kept quiet. I could then organize my plans. In the end the agency never released At the beginning when I asked out, they told me I had to serve another five years and then I could be free. Then, when the time came, they asked me to do two years more, and then another mission and another and so on. Uh, by the beginning of 2012 I woke up from this hypnosis and I decided to run. I've been on the road now for almost six months and I'm still not sure whether they are tracking me or not. They could do it, but with all the money cuts, they might just leave me alone. My Dutch friend offered me a cigarette and a ride to Prague. Prague. When I come back to the center of Prague, there are always more crazy pigeons than before. Many faces mirror each other in purely light. I arrived by your place at 4 o'clock, Karoline Svetle, number 35, just above the night shop. No one answered the bell and then I asked the shop owner. Hey, dobar dan. Dobar dan, sir. How are you? Welcome to my shop. Well, uh, is it anybody living in an apartment above you? Apartment just above our store, sir. Yeah, just above you, yeah. No, sir, it's been abandoned for a long, long time. Since I work here for more than five years, uh, no one lives in the apartment. Man, are, are, are you sure? Do, do, do we have any keys or, or something? I just have the keys for the basement where we keep our products. Well, well, the Coca -Cola man, okay. I, hey, just, just check up the keys again. Are you sure you don't have the keys? There should be some keys for me left here, please. If someone has the keys, I would think that it's Mr. Ravlinski. But he's a very busy man. He's always going from New York to Singapore. Who the fuck Singapore. is Ravlinski? And Ravlinski owns the building. It's who we pay the rent. He's the landlord. Okay, is there any any way how how I can get up in the apartment. The best you can do, sir, is you leave your contact number, phone number, okay, and okay, your email okay, and just fuck off, for... fuck, okay, see you, man. To Yeah, it's better you go now. The last image I have of Praga is your nudez in the room. The darkness permitted you to only know who I was. Sempre foi muito esquivo. Foi isso que me permitiu entrar tão facilmente na merda da agência. Nunca tive uma oportunidade de pedir desculpa, mas agora nem sei se o posso fazer. Sempre te deixei milhões de coroas. Intraçáveis, limpas. Pergunto-me todos os dias que coisas incríveis terias feito com todo esse dinheiro. Procuro-te no ponto onde nos paramos.
After watching in the archives the real name of the brother of Sevgile, Gloop Sevgile, in the registers from the archive, it said he had been moved to Budapest many years ago. Not that the good of the leak, but the only I could follow right now. As I arrive to Budapest, I suddenly start feeling very sick, as if I have been poisoned or something. My head feels like crumbling into small little pieces. I look around, my eyes get confused, spotting useless objects and faces. I start thinking of my colleagues of the agency. I wonder what they are doing nowadays, if some of them are busy trying to find me and finish me. I continue wandering around the city, finding an unknown face, just with the name Gloop Sevgile. As the night comes closer, I need to find a place to pass the night. I need to get some rest to take my head off that crazy woman, even if it is just while I am asleep. I know I will find her. It just takes some time. My question is, what will be her reaction to see my face many years after? So he got one day really late uh, in Budapest and he yeah he didn't have a place to sleep so he had to find some place cozy because it was winter and was cold and he couldn't sleep in the streets so in the meantime he met this girl uh, at the bar uh, that by coincidence worked uh, on the consulate of uh, Bosnia and uh, told him that he could uh, help him out so in the next day they meet again and uh, they, she, she called uh, she, she called the uh, she had called the consulate already a day before and they told, uh, told him that uh, this man that he was looking for was working on the, on the hot springs uh, in the north of, uh, of Budapest. Excuse me, sir. Are you Gloop Sevgili? Oh, I don't know. My name is Katilu Bitsa. I'm a very old time friend of your uh, sister. I need to find her. I need to find her. I don't give a fuck about this. You must know something. Your brother and sister, you must know where she's about now. She has problems with the KGB, the secret Russian police. You don't want to know more than this. I really don't want to know that. You might try with the power. Yes, he has a gallery. An art gallery. In downtown. If you ask the right people, you will find them. her die because that's not interesting the last time I knew her she 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 took a job there so perhaps his journey could be to retrace whatever the woman did and that doesn't have to be something extremely interesting but it could be a tiny detail so he or she could have gone back to uh, take care of her mom perhaps her mom was sick you could either choose it to be something work related a job offer or something personal, a mother 
or maybe she had children there. She could, 25 years ago, not children. Ah, I would just, don't, don't make it about, like, too big of a thing. Don't be like, oh, she was dead for 10 years, or, or don't be like, oh, she was working, like, as a spy. Just make it small, human details, because I always find that the most interesting. About, about a family, or about, it can be something so small, so, like, human, that, that's just my opinion. Because, okay, so the ex-boyfriend has to lead him to Bosnia. Allah, 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 Allah,